Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you're ready for it, but goddamn it, it's too late to not be. This is the part of the show where us, me and Bob, Bob and Kato, give you the best motherfucker. I'm finna say information, but it ain't just information, it's advice. The best advice you could ever imagine or hope to hear. Because we the best ever. advice givers. The best. To ever be here. Ever, ever, ever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is the part of the show we call Reddit on Reddit. <laughs> Bob is going to read some shit off Reddit. Somebody needs some advice. And since we're the bite. Bice? The bice. The bice advice give us the ever give We bite to get bice to bice. We're going to get these motherfuckers the bice. The bice. The bice. The bice. All right. <laughs> um, Reddit on Reddit number one. The title is: Am I the asshole for implying to my coworker that I please myself when my husband is away? Yeah. Yeah. Was you giving up some pussy or not? She the asshole. She got her husband. Stop by the pussy at work. She that's all. It don't even matter what the rest of this shit say. <laughs> Ain't no way to not. I don't know. The asshole to who? To her husband. Okay, well, he's yeah. not there. It yeah, doesn't. No, not, <laughs> <you know? laughs> and it depends on the co worker, goddamn. <laughs> I'm well, yeah, saying, no. if, if, she, if she, like, moved past those implications to the co worker, then we can take her out of the asshole category. No, she's an asshole for even mentioning this shit to the co Why? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You got a husband at home. Don't be talking about your pussy at work. Yes, I see you next time. Nigga, I get so. Or this one. Yeah, she wants my co worker. She's trying to show that co worker that pussy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So as long as she do it, then she's not an asshole. Well, she's still an asshole. We can't forget about the husband. Right now. now he gone. He's away. He away. Yeah, what he's you a, what away. you think he doing? At home? No, right. he's away. No, no, he calling this bitch. Like when you get out. It says she late. he says her husband is away. Okay, all right. It did say while her husband was away. Yeah. Okay. When her husband is away. Either way. She's still Ooh, an asshole. He's away often. He might be. And guess what he doing? Not not, not her. Up. Not her. See? She doing it. Maybe so. Mm-hmm. She's still the asshole. I don't know. She's still the asshole. All right. Let's agree to disagree. Let's see what you're talking about. All right. I've been at this company for about two years now, and one of my coworkers, John, and I have become pretty good friends and get along well. We're both happily married and just friends, and John, though we do too. catch up on life during work hours. My husband has been away on a business trip for two weeks now. John and I were chatting in the office this morning, and I mentioned to him that I've been at my house alone for the past week and pretty bored without my husband. (laughs) He asked me what I do to pass the time and that I must be a bit pent up with my husband gone for that long. Oh, John brought it up. No! (laughs) She must be pent up. I don't know. You just start crazy. You stuck in the house. Nah, dick. I was surprised he said that, but I feel comfortable enough around him that it didn't bother me. And I chalked it up to playful bent. We can talk about that That's what she's saying. Yeah. I jokingly told him that I know exactly how to please myself when my husband is away. He got really awkward and uncomfortable, and we've been distant since. John didn't want to know nobody that pussy. Nah. <laughs> oh, she ugly. I just checked my inbox and there was a meeting on my calendar from HR. It's overpaid. It's overpaid. John didn't want to know nothing about that pussy. I tried to message John, but he's not he's he's not responding. And my manager came back to my desk and told me that my behavior is ridiculous and not to speak to John until I'm told otherwise. John was not trying to see that pussy. John was genuinely trying to be your friend at work. Dang. And you tried to put that pussy on Jello. She got in trouble. Man, you should have got in trouble. I told you she was the asshole from the start of it. You did. You was right. I told you. 
I told you she was. The, you wanted to know if you was the asshole. You is definitely the asshole. You, you the asshole. You, now you, you. I hope John tell your husband you tried to show him his pussy. Your pussy out there. Damn. I hope so, cause she the asshole. Yeah, you the asshole. No, I'm not. Cause John did not want to see that lady pussy. She didn't know. She should have found out. Folks. I be playing with my pussy when he gone. John didn't get up by that. John trying to figure out if you watch movies or some shit when he gone. Do you go for walks or do you just stay wrapped up in the house? I think she said something else that she ain't telling. You us. know she said something. Else. <laughs> that she ain't the whole story. Yeah, she would yeah, incriminate herself. She lying like a motherfucker. Like, now, John, when, I, when he ain't there, I put this leg right. in here. Right. <laughs> I got this big black guy there. <laughs> John mm, was she got told, this. She said she could help him. She, he could help her get Man, unwound. Some some she, she did something. She, she invited this. John over there to see that yeah. pussy. Yeah. She definitely did that. And John was flabbergasted. <laughs> like, <gasps> what? Would you, would, you report a, would you report a woman to HR for that? Absolutely. A bitch will report you to HR for that. I, I know <laughs> that. Duh. She bitch sexually harassed me at work. God damn it. You got me fucked up here. Your your homie that you been y'all no, been cool got, this time. I got to, if if I tell you leave me alone and you keep fucking with me, I'm gonna report you to HR. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm not reporting nobody to HR. What the fuck I'm talking about? Hey, you said it. <laughs> but now that I thought about it. No, I'm taking this part out. Because no, I thought about it, though. Because I worked in the factory and they had HR there. And I thought, you got to walk. The, I'm not feeling I'm not just yeah, walking on to the yeah, police I'm station. Not, I'm not going to go tell all the bitch. For, yeah. Not for that, though, God damn. I might have my bitch meet this bitch in the parking lot or something, oh, okay. God so he's going to get fired instead. Oh, I didn't touch that bitch. <laughs> And don't speak to me when you up here. Yeah, nah, I don't know nothing about that. I'm just watching a fight. <laughs> you don't get fired. <laughs> I'm blowing your kids. Get out of here. They're getting you out of here. <laughs> get her, yeah. Get the, the one blowing kisses. Man, Take okay. him. No. Take no, him. Just, you got something to do with this, this shit. This fight turned me on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Um, I ain't going to lie. I went, to, I went to HR on the bitch one time, but it wasn't for sexual harassment. I did. So I worked in this, I'm working in the factory. I need a pallet jack, right? Pick up the pallets and shit. I got to put, this is my pallet jack. The bitch keep taking my pallet jack. I, I can't find no fucking pallet jack now. I bitch, you took my, now this mine now. What? Oh, she Kato. Yeah, what? No, no, <laughs> no. I'm like, what you mean? It's like, yeah, I'm a girl. I'm a take. I took this. I bitch, that ain't how shit work. And I'm flabbergasted that you telling me like you took this shit because you a girl, goddamn it. And the bitch is like, yeah, no, I and I ain't know what to do. So I told her. <laughs> I felt like a hoe, but I mean, and then she pregnant, and then, then oh, okay, though. no, but. It ain't my fault. The bitch don't need the pallet jack but once a day. I'll be happy to come over here and pallet jack this shit for you. I've told you that. You ain't even got to use it. But you can't take my motherfucking pallet jack that I need all fucking day for the use once a day and keep this bitch like it's yours. I'm not finna push these pallets around here. So I told on the little ugly bitch, God damn it, you're fucking right. And then they just Damn. they they bought like five pallet jacks in their bitch. <laughs> I was fucked up. They bought everybody a brand new pallet jack, but they Damn, she ain't gonna be there that long. She pregnant. Yeah, it's uh, she came back right after she had the baby too. Mm. Goddamn. But then Damn. I I gave the bitch the new pallet jack. Bitch, we ain't what we gonna do. Goddamn, we gotta work together. But dude. I'm still on that bitch when I see him. All right, see, now we're going to buy that. <laughs> Reddit on Reddit number two. But yeah, that bitch the asshole. Number two. It's the the title is, Men Are Turned Off Because I've Never Been Married or Had Kids. Bitch, you don't know what men is turned off by. You assuming, unless they just telling you that's the problem. A lot of motherfuckers assume they know what's going on and they don't know what the fuck going on for real. I don't know if there's something. You don't think she got no homeboy she asked or nothing? 
That ain't she something made it up. Cause you imagine being turned off because a motherfucker ain't never been married and ain't never had no kids. Nope. Like how the fuck is that a turn off at all? Well, it depends. It, it does sometimes it does make you wonder about somebody. But yeah, you might wonder, but you're not like, oh, this bitch ain't got no kids. Nah, I can't fuck with her. Well, if you had some bad experiences with some of them. Right. Then don't be, so if you had bad experience with two bitches with no kids, all the bitches with no kids crazy now. I'm I'm not saying that, and I don't know how many pictures it takes to to, to come <laughs> okay. up. With a synopsis or whatever. But every bitch but you I'm fuck just saying, with no for every three bitch bitches, crazy. one count. I don't know how that go. I'm just saying, maybe you'll see some shit that be like, oh, you know what? A few times I, I did try that. I don't know. Not I can't see that being no turn off. Yeah, me either. Having, having the kids is more of a turn off than not having the kids. Depends on how old they are. That too, I did. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's see what she says. She's a 49-year-old female, and she's never lived with a man, mm. been married, or have kids. Mm, okay, now I can see why. She My was in the, is, <laughs> It's a little bit more strange. Right, <laughs> she was in a long-term relationship with someone who always promised to commit and ultimately never did. She should have ended things much sooner, but she was always holding out hope that they would get married. Nothing she can do about that now. She's had several men seemingly lose interest once she tells them. And she had one guy really question her about it and thought that she must be lying about her past or her relationships and figured that she was hiding a divorce or something. So she wants to, uh, so she's saying that uh, the issue is they assume something must be wrong with her. I would assume it's probably something wrong with this bitch. But I don't know if I would assume enough to... I don't want to date this bitch. I, I feel like pictures need to come with some of these people's things. Well, I mean, the bitch good good enough to get on the date with me. I'm assuming the bitch is attractive. Like, that's not the issue here. Yeah, but we we don't know if you I'm, go on the date with her. Well, you're right. But whoever she on the I'm talking about them other two niggas she went on the date with. We don't know them either. Ugly Could people it. date ugly people. Well, sometimes ugly people be with fine people. Yeah, when ugly people get some money, they do. No. No. Yeah. I don't know. I ain't, but my, for the most part, people date in their league for real. Yeah. For the most part. Maybe. So I feel like if she ugly, them niggas is ugly too. Okay. <laughs> so they weren't ugly to each other. Or they just yeah, know no, each I feel, other. Yeah, I feel like they, yeah, they're attractive enough to each other, goddamn it. Okay. Yeah. So then, so did it, did what? Then what? Ooh, that's how I opened it up. I told you I'm drunk. I forgot my job. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out if the bitch was ugly or not. <laughs> Who's saying she say that, that, that she say her looks is what turns them off? Yeah, no, I, I don't understand. I, I can understand being questioned. I, I would I would think it's a little bit weird for you to be 49 <laughs> It never been in a serious relationship, never lived with she a She was in a long term relationship. But I would it, it wouldn't be a turn off for real. I would be intrigued for real. Like how this bitch fifty and ain't never ain't never lived with a nigga before. You ain't never been married and you find enough to be out with me, bitch. I'm finna figure out what's going on with you, goddamn. That's what I wanna do. But then I guess I'm really looking for the crazy. But that bitch crazy. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? But I don't know that for certain. I don't know. She either crazy or she ugly. I was, she could be ugly, but then we ain't out here no way, goddamn. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's true. But she's somebody. She can be out there with somebody. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, folks. She don't... ugly as hell though. If she, I'd have seen some married ugly people. If you done made the 50 and you can't find now, you ugly. she ain't that ugly. She can't be. If you that ugly, you know you that ugly. I think if you that ugly, you know you that ugly. And she wouldn't even be questioning. Oh, I guess that's true. They said no kids and never yeah. any divorce. Like, if you know if that's the problem, you know, like, you that's ugly. You know what? That's not. That's you fucked ugly up. The Just because you were responsible your whole life, that means that you're a fucked up, crazy, right. ugly person. <laughs> this bitch ain't never had premarital sex that turned out in unplanned pregnancies. 
The fuck you thinking about I am, bitch? <laughs> you ain't never rush into a marriage? Man, what? You ain't never moved a homeless nigga in with you, bitch? Because you was lonely and need somebody to water your plants? <laughs> fuck you doing out here? Huh? Got to be something wrong with Responsible you. Responsible ass <laughs> oh, man. Okay. This bitch got to be crazy. Uh, maybe she has a point. Man, okay. <laughs> Niggas don't like responsible bitches. Uh, Whack ass. <laughs> bitch, you, you go find to, Noah. Go get your niece or something, <laughs> goddamn. He said Noah, if Noah likes sugar mamas, man, okay. If he like cougars, then y'all be <laughs> bring your niece around next time you get a nigga around. Act like this your baby, bitch. Act like this your baby. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 49 years. I got a two year old. Oh, <laughs> now you know you fucking. You know hey, you man. fucking that. Yeah. Oh, she done had sex, goddamn it. She be fucking, man. Yeah, you yeah, could, she you do that. Yeah, rent a kid. <laughs> <laughs> it gotta, it gotta be. I bet it's a sell. Facebook group or something. Man, okay. <laughs> what is nigga doing in your closet? Like, nah, he ain't coming back. Nah, he, <laughs> he ain't lived here for seven years. Man, I forgot that was in here. Hey. I told him I threw that away. Hey, <laughs> hey, you got to buy some shoes from like the thrift shop. Well, yeah, no just to have them and throw it away. Yeah, you can't get no dude. Them new Jordan Falls, man. Fuck that nigga. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Give your niggas some shoes that used to belong to your old nigga, oh, goddamn. Yeah. A nigga yeah. love that. A nigga well, think he got nah. shit. They know? Nah, some uh, nah. Some people it's we had the opposite reaction. You gotta know your nigga. I know? guess. Bitch, give me, if the nigga wear a size 14 and you got some new joints here, this nigga left. I'm getting you them green Hellcats, bro. Bitch, bring them to me. I'm going to wear them. Got them green Hellcats, they're going to go with that. I ain't going to wear them. With the polo right there. I ain't going to wear those. Yeah. I'm not. The green Hellcats, I'm sorry. you get your green Hellcats. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm imposing them on your feet. Oh, nah, okay, video. man. Fuck it, man. <laughs> Fuck it, man. You know I'm not going to do that. That's all okay. <laughs> I want to see this nigga <laughs> do it, goddamn. <laughs> Shit, impress me, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, it really is some green Hellcat shoes. It's horrible. I'm I sure they don't come Hellcat my made size. Shoe. I bet they don't. They might, BMW it's some, you it's got some shoes? Tall, Shit. It's some tall race car drivers? I, no, but not 14. Maybe. I, I bet they don't. I need mean, race car drivers don't wear Hellcat shoes, nigga. <laughs> They don't Niggas wear. Who drive Hellcats don't wear Hellcats shoes. They don't wear the other shoes. Who the you, only people name? wear Hellcats shoes is this tall. But what you name? What's the other shoes you name? What you talking about? What other company? BMW or something? Yeah, BMW. Yeah. They don't wear them. No, anything? they don't. That's what I'm saying. No. Don't <laughs> nobody wear no carbred shoe. No. That's why you're going to be the first. I'm not. I'm not. And they're not going to come in my size. So I'll it's get okay. the black ones. I'll rock out with you. Fuck it. I will. I'll Fuck get it. the black ones. You get the green ones. Fuck it. <laughs> no. Now we both got them? Absolutely not. No.